So today we're going to be testing some glue. So I'm basically just going to be asking, does it do what it says it's going to do? Is it going to glue together metal, glass, wood, plastic, ceramic, things like that? So I first wanted to go over kind of how I'm going to score each product. I'm going to be basically asking five different questions and each question is going to be worth about two points. That will give the product a final score out of 10 and I'm basically going to be recommending a product based off that score. So in my last video I had the multi-tool, I gave that product about a 7 or 8 and I'll explain how that exactly works. The first question I'm going to be asking is does the product do as advertised? The next question is going to be is it durable? So do I think this can glue together a product and is it going to be durable at the end of the product after it's been glued together? We'll find out. The third question is going to be how long I think it's going to last. So after this, for instance, is glued, is it going to be lasting a few years afterwards or is it going to break in a couple days? The fourth question I'll be asking is, is it easy to use? So can I get this product and use it? And can any of you get this product and use it with ease of use? And the fifth final question I'll be asking is, would I personally use this product? So after this video is done and said, and would I go out and actually use this in my personal life and in my personal home? Again, each question is gonna be worth two points. So if the product scores perfectly on every single one of those five questions, then it'll be a 10 out of 10 recommendation. My goal with this is to be able to give you guys a solid score on each product so you guys can decipher for yourself if it's worth for you to buy or not. Again, if you guys want me to test anything on the channel specifically, there'll be a link to a Google form down in the description. You guys can fill that out. You can put your name on there. And as long as I have the link to the product, we'll see if it gets on the channel. Now that all the rules are set and explained, let's get into testing the product. Like I said, we're gonna be testing out this glue. It's a UV activated glue. So when I shine this light on this glue, it should harden instantly and it should cure whatever product we're trying to glue together. This would be better than say super glue as long as it works because you don't have to wait for it to dry. You can just glue it together and it'll be done. Here's the directions if you guys wanna pause the video and check those out. It says it's great for metal, glass, wood, plastic, ceramic, jewelry, and toys. We're gonna to be testing the majority of those. First thing we gotta do is open the package. And dump that. It says repairs almost anything. We're gonna see if that actually is true. This is a refill, essentially. And the glue is actually stored inside the handle right here. It's a little bit squishy. And so you just take this cap off right here and then the glue is right there, ready to go. So I'm not sure how you would refill this. Yeah, it's very stringy, it's like hot glue almost. It looks like you'll be able to just screw off the end of the cap and then refill it with this one. So that's kind of nice. They do give you uh, quite a bit of glue to work with. The thing that I'm mainly most curious about is how is the glue supposed to dry in the middle if the light can't get to it. That's my main concern with this glue. So the first one it claims to be able to glue together is metal. I've got two pieces of metal right here that I just cut, uh, just little pieces of angle iron. So I wanted to bring you guys in a little closer to kind of show you what it's gonna look like. But basically I'm just gonna file off these little burrs uh, so we have a good contact for the glue. These little burrs are just from me cutting the metal with the grinder. Not a perfect fit, but the glue should be able to fix that first. Let me take this off. And sorry, I'm trying to look down at my watch at the same time to make sure you guys can see what I'm looking at because I've only got one camera, sadly. So I'm, I'm just gonna basically try to weld these two together with the glue. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is gonna create some heat from the reaction that the light causes. Okay, so there, there you go. They're clearly fused together with glue. Now we're gonna just heat it up. Oh, there it goes. Whoa, that's bright. Did not wanna look at that. Just gonna kinda go up and down this entire thing to make sure that it's solid. And honestly, I don't expect you to be like repairing your car, <laughs> you know, car's frame with this stuff or anything like that. I'm gonna be surprised if this holds uh, even just a little bit, but I will go all the way around. I'm just gonna make sure that the front is at least glued and then I'll flip it over and do the backside. Then we give it a good chance to really get everything glued up nice. I think that's probably pretty good. Seems like it's, it's a little tacky, but I think it's hardened all the way. 
And the instructions just say that it cures in seconds. So it doesn't really say anything about needing to wait longer than that. So we'll do the backside now. Whoa, and that tube is almost out of glue. They did not actually give you that much. So we will try to use it sparingly. Okay, I think that's probably plenty of time for it to cure. It's just a few seconds there. I actually gave it probably like 30 seconds on the right, but first reaction, not, ooh, there, I barely was doing anything on that. Wow, that came apart super easily. That is unfortunate. Let's try this side. Oh, wow, I didn't even try. It's still wet on the inside, which is exactly what I was talking about. The, the light's not gonna be able to penetrate through here. It's not like we're shining a light right here. Now, when we try to do glass, then maybe it would be better because the light would be actually be able to go through it. Well, that's a fail so far. The next one we're gonna be testing is going to be the wood. So we're basically just gonna try to glue these two pieces together, which again, I don't think is gonna work because how is the light supposed to get through here? I still think we'll get the same result. I think that's a pretty good amount. What do you guys think? Oh, that's plenty actually. Look at it squeezing out the sides. I bet it's still not even gonna be cured at all on the inside. Ooh, that didn't look good. I'll just put my finger right here underneath the middle. And look at that. You can totally tell that it's not, it's not glued in the middle. Not only did it not cure in the middle, but it actually soaked up into the wood. So if you're trying this on wood, it's just gonna get soaked up by the wood. Like what are you, how are you supposed to glue together wood if it just gets soaked up by it? So the next one, let's try it on a piece of glass. So I'm thinking if we could break this and break a chunk out of it and have this light go all the way through the glass, then I think it actually might have a chance of, of doing it. much more than I wanted. <laughs> See if we can find one of these pieces that actually fits. Okay, so here is the piece that broke off. It perfectly goes in there, so we'll see if we can glue this. Obviously, don't do this at home. <laughs> Ooh, I've got high hopes for this. That doesn't look too bad. Let's put some light on it. Smell the glue, it's kind of strong. has more than enough seconds. Let's just see if it's any stronger. Oh, hey, that's that's actually not bad. This makes way more sense because the light can actually get through the glass and cure it all the way through. So if you have a broken mug at home or something, oh yeah, I think that's plenty. It depends on if your mug is see-through or not, but clearly with glass, you know, should be fine, but yes. Definitely could recommend this for glass as of now. The next product that it says it can fix, I guess, or repair is plastic. So I've got a piece of PVC pipe here. So I'm gonna be using this one now, just cause I think the tube is running out on the inside. And I'm basically just gonna be tack welding it. If you guys are welders, it's just like a little, a little spot that you glue or tack weld first. That way I can flip it over and do the other side. That way we get an even layer of glue all the way around. Do this other side now. And I hope you guys can see that. Again, I don't have a second camera. So I'm just working with what I got. It takes about five seconds or so for it to actually like harden. So that's actually pretty quick. That's, that's what it says. So I will give it that. There's a solid line of glue all the way around the pipe and it is not sticky by any means. It's been fully cured and fully hardened. So now we'll just basically see if I can break it. Ooh, honestly that did better than I expected. It maybe held five to 10 pounds of force to, to snap it. That was actually pretty good because if you're gonna be fixing something, like obviously a pipe you're not gonna be fixing pipes with this. 
you'd probably just be using PVC cement. But if you're fixing something plastic similar to this, then I could say that it's actually not too bad. Okay, so the next test that it claims to do is to be water resistant. So I'll be taking this Dremel and drilling a small hole over here with it and then maybe taking out a little chunk over here with it and then seeing if the glue can actually get through here and hold the seal and we'll fill this up with water. <laughs> So here is our first hole right here. It's kind of a little gash. And then we have a smaller hole on this side. And we'll just try to put some glue in there and see if this can actually hold water. Since these holes are a little bit big, I don't want the liquid to fall through the hole before it gets cured. So I'm gonna be putting just a little bit of tape over the holes to help hold the liquid in place. And then after it's fully cured, we'll remove the tape. I will say they do give you a chunk of glue, which is pretty nice. Um, it could probably get you through a few repairs depending on how big they are. So I just finished putting all of the glue in here. It looks like they're fairly sealed up. Do this one just a little bit more. Okay, so here is the first one. You can see that I got glue over that entire thing. Here is the second one. I got glue over all of that as well. So I'll put some water in this now. Uh, I will keep the larger hole on the, I guess your guys' right side and the smaller hole on the left side. No leaks from what I can tell. So it is water resistant. Well, what do I think about the glue? I think it does really well at like glass and plastics. If you need to do super glue your fish tank together or maybe a piece of jewelry or a decoration that uh, broke off the wall, I think it could probably get it to be good enough. Now, if you're using the product every single day, other than glass, then I would say it's not very durable. I would definitely not recommend it using it on metal or wood. If you're using this on metal, you should probably just get a new piece of metal or weld it together because uh, almost anything that's made out of wet metal needs to be like structurally secured. With wood, you're better off just using wood glue. Wood glue dries in just a couple hours and it's really strong after that. It says it also can cure porcelain, which I wasn't able to test. If the object that you're gluing together is so big that there's gonna be glue in the middle, it's not gonna work because the light just can't get through it. So does the product do as advertised? I gave it a 0.5. I think it works really well on glass and plastic, but everything else, I would say it's a no-go. Is it durable? I think glass is very durable. I think plastic is kind of iffy. So I gave it a one on durability. Do I think it'll last a long time? If you repair your fish tank with this, it would last a long time. This seems very sturdy, the glass portion, because the light was able to get through there. If it's something plastic, I think as long as it's nothing that's like constantly moving or that needs like structure to it, like for instance, a piece of pipe, then I would say that it would work on that as well. So do I think it'll last a long time? I gave it a two. Is the product easy to use? Very easy to use. Uh, I gave this a two as well because all it is is some glue and a light. Anybody could do it. Would I personally use the product? I gave it a one on this because I don't see a huge advantage of using this over like wood glue, for instance. Now, if I were to fix like my fish tank, I personally just use silicone because I have a fish tank and I had to use silicone on it the other day. If I had this, would I have used it for the fish tank? Possibly. It was a leak on the corner and this probably would have done great for that. So my overall recommendation score is six and a half out of 10. Again, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to go back to the beginning of the video where I explain all the rules and how the scoring works. If you guys like this series, let me know by hitting that thumbs up down below. And also, if you guys wanna see something on the channel, fill out the form down below. It's completely free to you guys and it's just to see something on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this product didn't quite nail it, but maybe the next one will. I'll talk to you guys later.